It's a Saturday afternoon at Shea and a preview of some of Tuesday's All-Stars in baseball's most intense interleague battle. It's also a look back as a former Mets superstar returns to Shea. What's up, Doc? New scrubs and another chance. Welcome to Shea Stadium and welcome to the Fox Saturday Baseball Game of the Week. The New York Yankees and the New York Mets. And now welcome to our broadcast booth. I'm Joe Buck along with my partner Tim McCarver. This is the start of a historic day in Major League Baseball as for the first time since 1903 two Major League teams will play two games in two different sites. We'll have more on that a little bit later. But the story within the story as there always is around here has to definitely do with Dwight Gooden making his return here to Shea in a Yankee uniform. Dwight Gooden's last uh, start here at Shea Stadium June 24th 1994 he broke in as a 19 year old pitcher back in 1984 for the Mets after striking out 300 and 191 innings in Lynchburg the year before he electrified this Shea crowd like none other he's had the pressures of the World Series, the pressures of postseason play, the all-star game, the pressures of his personal life. But today, the pressures of one pitching performance that could, if it's bad, spell the end of a dynamic career. Yeah, so in a sentence, the scene of his greatest triumphs here on this mound at Chase Stadium could also, in a way, be the scene for his last Major League start if things don't go well here for the Doc for the Yankees against the Mets. Well, how are you getting to the second game later tonight? You can take a boat, take a car. How about the subway? Yankee Stadium later. It's the Mets and Yankees at Shea coming up next on Fox. Oh. 